we're in this strange place. You see the groundskeepers on the field. We see, uh, you know, cleanup crew cleaning up the stadium. And yet, there's a game just in a few hours. We just finished watching the Royals defeat the Red Sox three to two uh, at Kauffman Stadium, the first game of a day-night doubleheader. This is Vahe Gregorian, Rustin Dodd. I'm Blair Kirkoff, and. The victory by the Royals pushes them over 500 for the first time in, I don't know, how long, Rustin? When was the last time they were over 500? They were, uh, what, what was it, 15 and 14 or they're 14? It's been a while. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 14, six, I can't remember, but it's been yeah. a while. That's a good, yeah. It's been a while. So. And they got it done today, it seemed to me, in the, in the first game of this doubleheader in, in uh, a familiar fashion, or at least the way we kind of used to seeing the Royals win games over the last what, two and a half years, pitching, defense, and just enough hitting. Yeah, this was a game that it was, it's been a while since the Royals won a game where it felt like they maybe didn't deserve to win it, but it's every game they've won winning recently has been a game they've really had to go out and win. This was a sort of a game that they kind of stole. Uh, Stephen Wright, the knuckleballer for Boston, pitched pretty well, but they got an early homer from Hosmer, uh, got their usual great defense, and then their bullpen is sort of the equalizer and, and was the difference in the game. A couple of great defensive plays. Uh, I'll see Escobar goes in the hole to snab a – uh, a one hopper and throws out. Was it Bogarts? Is that who it was? Yes. yes. Throws him out at first base. Probably saves a run. Pedroia was on second, and then the play by Gerard Dyson in right field in the eighth inning. Uh, guns out. Bogarts again going trying to go first to third on a on an Ortiz single. I I thought those were really impressive, but also the pitching of uh, not only Ian Kennedy but Brian Flynn and Luke Hochaver. The you know the, the the gang was back together again today, wasn't it? It, it was, and and you know really interesting point of the game in the sixth when. It, it, at least some of us in the press box thought that was about it for Kennedy, and he's about 110 pitches, and they, they stay with him. He strikes out the next two guys. Flynn comes in, strikes out the only guy he faces. Hochaver comes in, strikes out the side, and suddenly this all looks like a, a plan that just unfolded really well. And look, uh, Blair, you pointed this out when we were talking about it. There was a little situational pitching in there, too, with Flynn. So some wrinkles, but also some familiar stuff, and suddenly you know they've won two series in a row, which we haven't seen for a while. Right, and like I said earlier, they're 20 and 19 now. The Royals are 20 and 19, which means after tonight's game, they will have played 40 games. And Rustin, is there some magic number about the 40 game mark? Or it's, it's it's usually a measuring stick time for for baseball teams. Yeah, I mean it's a time to kind of take some take a step back, and you can evaluate things and have a, maybe a truer sense of how good a team is or how bad is a team is. I thought today's win was just big. Even if they lose tonight, they'll be at 500 going into Chicago on Friday probably no worse than you know four or five out of the White Sox uh, playing them for the first time so I feel like they, they're just kind of not where they want to be but they're after the, you know the last two or three weeks they've had uh, they're kind of back in a kind of in a positive spot both you know maybe literally and, and metaphorically I didn't I didn't think they played well against the Braves but they won two out of three but these last two games these two nights especially the play of the right fielders Paulo Orlando in the first game Gerard Dyson here today, what do you think? 40, I, I, Forty game uh, mark. Yeah, I, and I like your point is exactly how I feel. They they scratched out wins. They looked still just off playing the Braves and still won two out of three. The last two days, it sort of feels like I don't want to say the mojo's back. Who knows if the mojo even counts as anything? But but they they look like a little tighter, a little more just realistic version of what we've come to expect from them. And and uh, so I think. You, you, Again, as Rustin said, regardless of what happens tonight, I think you feel like they're in a different place today than you thought they were a week ago. A lot of coverage of the Royals in the print editions of the Kansas City Star online at KansasCity.com. And let's take the opportunity to wish a happy birthday Saturday night to Rustin Dodd. It's a little bit early here. Okay, okay. <laughs> but you'll take it. Yeah, we'll Thanks take a it. lot.